Hi everyone. Uh, really <laughs> great to be talking to you guys. Um, so today the plan was we talk through the uh, Microsoft Search user experience. We are essentially talking about uh, uh, you know the customization that we are doing for Microsoft Search result page. Now there, uh, when we, when I talk about Microsoft Search result page, I'm talking about the search result page that you generally see when you're in SharePoint Home or Office.com. You go to the search box, hit the query, and then you know you have a search result page load up. Now again, even here there are a lot of components which are involved. Um, this particular part is focused on two aspects. One is verticals, which you see highlighted on top over here, which is essentially uh, a way uh, to define the types of results which are shown in the search result page. And then you have your um, filters or refiners, how they're generally known as uh, from the classic search uh, world. And this helps users you know, to define a way for uh, users to uh, further narrow down results on certain properties. So these uh, are the two key focus for the talk as of now. And um, here, uh, let me actually talk about the uh, key customization features that we're working on. So these are, uh, you know, the asks that we've heard from customers, especially for those who want to move from, uh, you know, classic search or who have been used to the uh, features which were available there. So two key things that uh, we are actually working on is firstly um, allowing edit of your existing out of box uh, verticals which are present. So the verticals like all files, people, sites, etc., being able to do some kind of uh, modifications over there. And then the second thing that we are working on and we are planning to, uh, you know, enable is uh, allowing adding of new custom verticals. Now, uh, some of you or many of you may already know that uh, this is in part already available in preview uh, as a part of the Microsoft Graph uh, Connectors uh, program where you can actually add custom verticals. But um, we are taking the next step over here by having this available for SharePoint content as well. And then the next big thing that uh, we are doing is, uh, you know, uh, custom filters. Now, you may already notice, and I'll do a deep dive into this part that the filter design itself has actually changed. We are moving uh, from the right hand side uh, pane to actually top of the page. And we're also doing work to add the have the ability to add custom filters. So without any further ado, let's actually go into the experience. So let me show you the experience that we're planning and uh, that will give you a much better and good idea about uh, the kind of changes which are there. So in this case, um, let's. So this is going to be an experience walkthrough where, um, like you know, I'll be talking about uh, the changes that we're doing. So imagine that you are uh, some a user who is on SharePoint Home and uh, who starts off with uh, writing a query on your um, uh, on your search box, and you're looking for something like a Contoso field research spec. You hit enter. Um, as soon as you hit enter now, this is sort of uh, the uh, experience that you will see. Now, immediately off the bat, you might notice that there are a couple of changes right here on the top. So let's sort of zoom into this and uh, see. So there are two aspects. One is the verticals on top and the second one is filters which have actually changed. So let's further actually look into what the changes are. So first, I'll be focusing on the top bar, which is the verticals. Now, the kind of uh, features that we're enabling is, firstly, you may notice here that you don't actually see the site's vertical. So this is one feedback that we've heard that, you know, in some cases, there are certain verticals which are perhaps maybe uh, not needed for your organization or, um, you know, for a specific uh, maybe site as well. So in that case, we're allowing the capability to uh, disable some of the uh, uh, existing verticals. The other uh, thing that you might notice over here is this vertical called as SharePoint News, which is generally actually the news vertical. So uh, there is also the capability to rename the news, uh, uh, to rename some of these uh, existing verticals to you know fit the need of your organization. Other than that, you might also notice that there are two other uh, verticals over here, which are like research and outreach. And these are additional custom verticals, which have actually now been added. Um, based on your requirements. Uh, moving uh, from uh, top uh, one, uh, one level down, you see that there are filters. So it's file type and like date is something which is already there, but the design has changed now when it is moved to top of the page. 
but then apart from this you also have the uh, capability of adding additional custom filters like department and author and i'll uh, you know go through the kind of experience which is present uh, on this in a bit uh, so this is the uh, focus so let's see that apart from this uh, you know verticals that, that have been edited you also have this research custom uh, vertical which is available so going back to our user scenario uh, in case if the user is actually looking, in this case, you see the user is looking for a research related spec and you do have a research related custom vertical present over here. So one quick thing that the user will now be able to do is go to this particular custom vertical tab and actually see the relevant narrowed down results. Now, this is one great way of finding uh, information. Other than that, um, so imagine if uh, the custom vertical is not what you're going for, then we go back to our all tab and then we start now looking at these uh, filters which have been added. Now in these filters, let's look into the department filter, let's say. So here we are adding the capability of uh, having filters. So you have different kinds of controls like, you know, single select, multi-select, which will be available. These are essentially filters which are working off of uh, definable managed properties as of now. So the uh, user will have the capability of uh, you know selecting some of these filters clicking on apply and you know your uh, page results uh, your results will refresh the values which have been chosen will be uh, shown here as pills and you'll have the options of deselecting them right from here or clearing them all if that's what is needed and you obviously also have the capability of adding um, of using other you know filters along with the department as well so in this case if it's author you can you know select the other authors that you're looking for click on apply and then further narrow down your results so this is a great way of actually finding the results that you're looking for now moving on uh, so uh, just to go back this uh, so the earlier one which you saw was on the uh, existing all vertical where you're able to add custom filters but this particular capability is also available for other, uh, you know, custom filters like research. So now um, I want to actually walk you through the admin aspect of how this is set up as well to sort of, uh, you know, go over the context of how this can be done from uh, the administration perspective. Okay, so this is, uh, so uh, what I'm showing to you right now is on the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, which is essentially um, at a, uh, the setting which is hop happening at an organization level for things like your SharePoint home, office.com, etc. The experience, uh, you'll have like a similar kind of experience even at a site collection level, uh, which is applicable for each and every site. So uh, immediately first you will notice that in, within the Microsoft search uh, administration portal itself, you have a customization tab where you can actually go and see verticals. So now you'll be able to see all your existing verticals also, which are present like all files, people, news, etc. And here the capabilities of, let's say, disabling a vertical will be present. So I'm gonna take the example of this research vertical, which we just saw. Now, in this case, the vertical is already created. And what we're gonna do is add a uh, filter to it. So once you click on the uh, research uh, vertical over here, on the right hand side, you see all the information which is actually used to create this vertical. And um, similar to this, you'll have the similar information present for existing verticals as well. So you can edit the name, you can uh, change the like, you know, the query which has been added, or you can go ahead and add a new filter. So once you click on filters, you're taken to a wizard kind of a view where you have a capability of adding a filter. So once you click on um, add a filter, you will be shown a list of refinable uh, managed properties from which you can select uh, your uh, property. So in this case, we want to create an author filter. So we'll select the author property over here and uh, move on to the next step. And then uh, within this step, then you have the options of viewing some of the, uh, you know, um, information about this. So in this case, it's a string type uh, filter. And apart from that, you have the ability to actually select the type of interface that you want. As of now, today, we are uh, first starting out with a list of preset sort of interfaces where um, the options will be something like a single select or a multi-select. Um, and you won't have the ability to design like uh, completely uh, uh, customized the way you want it. That's how we are sort of starting off. So you select this type of information, you click on done, 
and then your uh, filter is added over here and then the rest of the steps for actually just saving the vertical is present and so when you go back um, when you move on to the next step and yeah here you go so then on your um, uh, on your research vertical a filter auto uh, auto filter will be added this is from a experience walkthrough perspective what um, I, I wanted to show so um, so just to summarize, we are uh, so these are all the features that we're working on. As a next step, uh, we are planning for a private preview for all of these features in the coming quarter. So you have things like uh, ability to uh, have custom filters in existing verticals on custom verticals for SharePoint, uh, editing existing verticals or adding uh, you know custom verticals for SharePoint content. All of these um, experiences that I just spoke about. This will be a part of the private preview. They will be available on both tenant and uh, site scope. There are also other things that we're continuing to work on, which is at a high level, you know, result type uh, support for SharePoint content and custom verticals so that you can design your own uh, layout and also custom filter support for uh, connector content. So these will also be coming up uh, soon. And Lastly, the main call of action that I have from this audience is uh, to actually sign up for the private preview so that we can actually take it, this to you, see uh, how well it works for your scenarios and get good feedback from all of you. So this was the content from uh, my end. Excellent. Thank you, Yorati.